a good morning everyone from Baker's Beach in San Francisco that's the Golden Gate there and that's the beach I am getting ready to go and make some images of the bridge and hopefully a few more around here but before I go and do that I just wanted to talk real quick about something that I was just thinking about because today is Wednesday it's uh, 7 15 in the morning already uh, I am uh, here and I'm gonna be here for I don't know, half an hour three hours whatever it takes me to make an image or to at least realize that there are no images to be made here uh, but you get the, the, the point I don't do anything else this is my job I'm doing this uh, full-time I've been doing it full-time for the last year and a half and that has given me a lot of flexibility uh, that has pushed my photography to the next level if you want to call it that way it has improved my photography because the the odds for me to to catch a good sunrise a good sunset or the right conditions at the right uh, place uh, are uh, much higher now uh, it's, it is much likely for me to be at the right place at the right time and i believe that's key to photography you see uh, the best photographers aren't uh, necessarily the ones uh, who are the most talented but the ones who spend the most time working on their skills on their craft and out there taking and making images uh, i'll always remember this uh, quote i found it on a book i don't remember the name of the book or the the person who said this but i will try to find it and put it around here somewhere but uh, the quote went something like uh, Talent uh, puts you on the at the starting line. Effort will take you to uh, or put you in the race, but insane dedication uh, will put you in front of everyone else. And I completely agree with that. Of course, having a nine to five job can be a big problem because it limits us. It uh, limits us to photograph on the weekends or whenever uh, we have days off. It is really important when we have a job to make the most of our time uh, when we are not working. Uh, I'm going to talk about my experience, what I used to do, what I did to actually uh, still be able to take photographs uh, while having a job. But this, of course, will vary a lot depending on your case. If, uh, if you are single, if you have a family, if you have kids, if uh, your job is uh, next door or if you have to commute and depending on, on the place where you live, of course. But my case was uh, the is as follows I used to live in Portland in a tiny apartment but that uh, apartment uh, happened to be very close to the highway so for me it was very easy to just get the car and leave the city uh, what I used to do is to wake up very early uh, a few times a week just before before going to work that means that I would have to go to sleep early that means that sometimes I would have to say no to some compromises uh, the previous evening like meeting with uh, someone or going for a drink I would rather uh, go to sleep wake up early and go on a drive to somewhere or go on a hike I did this uh, a few times for example this video that I made from the Tom Dick and Harry mountain uh, that day Day. I, I think, I don't want to lie, but I think I woke up like at 3.30 or something like that. I drove like an hour and a half to manhood and then I hiked for another hour to be there just for sunrise. And then I was done by 8 in the morning and I was still able to go back and uh, drive back and go to work and work the full day with uh, no problem because I, I was rested from the day before and I was uh, ready for a day like that. I was very lucky because my schedule, my hours were very flexible, so I was able to go a little bit earlier, like at 7 in the morning and leave earlier, or go a little bit later, like 10 in the morning and leave a little bit later that day. Most of the times, though, there was no hiking involved. The drives were a little bit shorter and closer to the city. So I had a list of uh, places and spots. My go-to places around uh, Portland, like one to two hours away. And depending on the weather of the next day, I could just choose this one or this one to make the, the most of that location. It's not about getting out a lot. It's not about getting out four to five times a week, even though that would be awesome. It's more about taking uh, or making the most of every single time uh, that you do go out. Uh, it's about uh, if the right conditions are going to happen on Tuesday morning, it's about being able to be there on Tuesday morning. Uh, when you have a day job, of course, you are usually limited to the weekends uh, or any other day, depending on your job. But it's uh, usually two days a week, two out of seven. That is what, 25 to 30 percent of the time. 
Uh, if your photography uh, depends or relies the slightest on the weather and the conditions, uh, well, you know that expecting the right conditions uh, to happen uh, just within those uh, within that 25 to 30 percent of the days is uh, is a lot to expect because the weather usually have uh, has other plans and it doesn't really cooperate most of the time. Ideally, you'd be able to say, okay, this Saturday morning doesn't look that good. The conditions are not going to be that good. So I'm just going to stay home, going to take care of this business and do whatever. But Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning is going to be awesome. So I'm going to go uh, to bed early on Monday night. I'm going to wake up, get the car or just go by bike or go running or whatever and make some images on Tuesday morning because it's going to be incredible. So yeah, for me, it was mostly about getting up super early. I did go out sometimes during the week for sunset, but traffic is usually worse, uh, at least in Portland at that time. So uh, it was much easier for me to just uh, get up at four or five in the morning and go somewhere at that time. Uh, but yeah, I would love to hear about you uh, guys. If you do any photography during the week while having a day job, what are your tips and tricks and things like that? to actually be able to do it if you do it in the morning if you do it in the evening or if you do photography just on the weekends and you are just fine with that i would love to hear your opinion and your experience uh, on this and that's about it now it's time for me to go and actually make some images uh, happen thank you so much for watching see you in the next one